So that's uh, your starting lineup for the, uh, this afternoon. We're nearly underway here. It's going to be the Glass Boys to kick off in the yellow and blue shirts. Catching, of course, in their red and black. And we are away. It's uh, Benbow flicking the ball to the far side. And uh, it's Hotter getting his first touch. Gives it straight away to uh, the Stourbridge midfield. They're breaking away into the catcher in half. Good there to uh, Benbow. Benbow turns. He finds Thompson Brown. Thompson Brown inside the penalty area. It was a little touch there from uh, Towers, but it's Benbow again. A good start here from Stourbridge. Ball's out on the left-hand side. It's uh, played through to Christofferson and put out for a corner by Kelly Evans, although it's uh, a foul on Kelly Evans. Uh, and uh, referees uh, got, him to, uh, got him to his feet quickly so we can continue. So the ball back with uh, Jordan Brown. He finds uh, Thompson Brown. Still Thompson Brown gets to Forday, Forday to Bembo, Bembo long square ball over to Hayden on the far side. Hayden has got Westlake with him, he finds Westlake, back to Hayden. Hayden comes inside ball, feeds the ball through to uh, Anderson. He's got the ball to Westlake, back to Anderson, good passage of play here from Stourbridge. Square ball to Ben Low. he flicks it, nice little flick, ball comes over here, Paul White comes out. And a good take by Paul White under pressure there from Thompson Brown. So the ball's aimed towards Pork. He can't get there, but Reese Honus can. He flicks the ball through to. Uh, he doesn't. He uses it himself. It's uh, Honus with that pacey run on the far side. Turns one way, turns the other. Gets the ball to Borg. Borg, though, has to play the ball back, I think, to uh, Honus. He does. Not a lot on for him. He goes uh, one way again. Is he going to release Borg? No, he doesn't. He finds Toslin. Toslin might try a shot. In comes the shot from Toslin. And what a goal from Ben Toslin! 1 0. Oh, he took that spectacularly. Goalkeeper, no chance. Excellent finish. Uh, something out of nothing, really. Right on the corner of the penalty area, just outside the penalty area, just rolled back. Uh, and criticism there from the uh, Starbridge uh, management for not closing Ben Townsend down to uh, close him down sufficiently. A couple of yards, shifted it onto his left foot. We know how good he can strike the ball on his left foot. And right into the top corner of the uh, Stourbridge goal and as you say James Wren he was floundering no chance to reach that one uh, just so at once Salkin can only pass the ball to uh, Hayden Hayden fires it back in towards Bembo Bembo the dangerous man he's outside the penalty area towards the number six tries a block but blocked by uh, Roe Turner back into Ketrin's half Toslin can't do too much with it he gives it the ball to Westlake Westlake to Bembo back to Westlake in comes the ball here there's number 10 here back post and a good work there from Kelly Evans as a goal seems certain. Ball's back in the Ketrin Town uh, penalty area, but Towers just hoofs the ball away as ball, oh, ball back into play. Luke Graham in is uh, let uh, Bembo have uh, a shot there from about 30 yards. It went way over Paul White's uh, goal mouth. It was uh, one of those opportunist efforts in its road turn as the rain dries down here at Latin Park. He plays the ball to Mills. It's back with Roe Turner. Roe Turner trying to find Honus. He does. Honus comes inside, though. Finds Hotter, who's in the way. Hotter gives the ball away, though. And away come the visitors. It's Thompson Brown. Feeds through Bembro. Bembro. Paul White comes out. And he shoots at Paul White. Only gets to the legs, though. It uh, was a good stop from Paul White. Stabber still with the ball. Trying to capitalise on an error from Ketrin. It's Bembo who had the chance. Fires one in. It's unmarked. Offside, though, is the number 11. Another good save, though, from Paul White. It doesn't matter. White furious with his defence. Offside's been given, and Anderson's uh, shot, had it have gone in, would not have counted. But, but uh, it's Bembo and the number 10, Thompson Brown. Oh, it's a very dangerous position. It's a good striking distance for the visitors. And uh, they've got the wind in their favour. There's three in the wall. As the snow now comes down. Yes, we're seeing all the elements this afternoon. It's going to be uh, Bembo taking this. In comes Bembo, tries one in, and uh, that's three points. And he may as well have uh, taken that to Franklin's Gardens. Yeah, it's definitely a factor at the moment. You can see with the high clearances from Kettering, they're sort of stalling as soon as they get up into the air and coming back at them. It's uh, Fonday on the far side, putting a ball in towards the number 11 Anderson. And uh, that just goes by the near post. Jordan Brown to Hayden. Hayden. He finds Westlake. Westlake still with the ball. Flicks it through to Anderson. Back to Forday. Outside the penalty area. Squares the ball towards Thompson Brown. Might try a shot. Doesn't. Flicks it back to Forday. Forday puts a 
Low ball down, a little flip there. And the number eight, Broadhurst, with a lot of time. He could have taken a little bit more time to get on on target. Rifles it over the bar, but uh, that should have been better from the Stourbridge number eight. And he uh, bowls the ball out to uh, Roe Turner on the far side. He's pressed forward into the Stourbridge half a good run from Roe Turner, but uh, he finds Borg. Borg turns, he's got a few options here. He's a little snap at him. Here's Hotter, might try a shot. Hotter does it. Ricochets, Hotter gets the ball back, might try another one. He does. And uh, it uh, came off a defender, looked like it was going to the top left hand corner, but uh, just went over the bar. Good effort from Hotter, and it gives Captain Town the chance with a corner to. Uh, and away come Starbridge, looking up, playing a, a long ball towards Bembo. Bembo gets a square ball to the number 10, Brown, who fires a wayward shot, and goes cannons off into the tin hat end. Uh, so, Miles. Thompson Brown trying to keep the ball still. In it comes high, headed out as a ricochet there, and all oh, that just went inches wide as a bit of a melee. It's gone off a Ketrin Town foot for another corner. So, pressure here from uh, Starbridge, the Glass Boys. It's number 10 again. Tom Brown puts it in. This time it's headed in, headed out by Towers. And uh, under Bembo pressure here is Milnes, clears it. Bembo, though, still has the ball outside the penalty area, has to be enforced back. Puts a good ball though to Thompson Brown, who's stayed there from the corner, but uh, he does a double on Tondre, falls over, and uh, a pirouette that one is for. It is a free kick, comes in towards the back post. Paul White looking at this one, it's hanging in the air, it's going to be cleared by uh, Richards, which it is. It goes towards O'Connor. O'Connor flicks it to Meekle. Meekle comes inside, back to O'Connor. O'Connor now with um, space and time. He's got plenty of space to run out here. Ketrin rushing forward. The thin red line flicked in through here. There's Meekle flicked in. Oh, Tozen didn't touch that in. It goes right on the back post. Tozen, all he had to do was touch it. The ball was in the net. Great movement from Ketrin. How that didn't go in, I do not know. Yeah, he's uh, quite rightly uh, a little bit annoyed there. It was catching flow, and uh, all of a sudden it's uh, Stourbridge on the attack. So uh, just watch uh, Kettering to up the work rate a little bit now. O'Connor flicks the ball through, and here comes Reese Honus. He could try a strike in the penalty area. Goes one way, flicks it square. O'Connor can't get there, and cleared by Brown, but only towards Richens, who stabs at it. It's found Meikle somehow on the edge of the penalty area on the far side. Kettering still with possession. Got the overlapping Kelly Evans, he could use him, he doesn't. Puts the ball square towards Mills. Mills tries a shot in it, ricochets off uh, Steele and goes for a Ketrin throw in on our left hand side. Ball then pumped high into the evening sky underneath Bacconi, flicks it down. O'Connor might try a snapshot here, chest it down, comes inside O'Connor, still O'Connor, fires a low one and the diving save by James Wren. I think he half hit it, O'Connor. I think Wren was taken by surprise at his uh, near post, tips it round for a corner. Ben Tosland with the corner, looping in, in swinging corner towards Graham at the back post. Graham gets there and it comes off the goalkeeper and uh, referee gives a corner. It's a long ball, but Towers and uh, number 12, Mills fighting for it. Richens wins the ball back, gets it to... Uh, Honus now catching with a chance here. They've got Meikle one side. He's got O'Connor the other side. He's going to get run through himself. He goes down. In comes... It's a goal! Yeah, it was uh, a good work there from Rhys Honus who fed the ball through the six-yard box. There was the lurking O'Connor who rifled it in, but the flag was up. I said it was going to be a good move from Catcher, and it was all but the uh, the flag from the linesman. And, of course, I'm going to say that was an offside. Cut out by Misson at the heart of the Starbridge defence. Oh, bad touch there from Brown. Uh, Hayden, sorry, but um, got away with a, a handball there, we think. Referee waving play on. And uh, Towers releases Milnes on the left-hand side. Can he put a cross in this time? Find the man, he can. Reese Hodes, yes! What a good goal that was for catching. Milnes there actually found his man spot on this time. It was Rhys Honis uh, with a sort of a flick header at the front post. And that is now Kettering Town to Stalbridge nil. But Misson did well there. Intercepted the pass, brings the ball out to Steele. Plays a 1-2 with Steele. Uh, Miss Own still going, but uh, Ro Turner intercepts, and the referees had enough. And uh, Kettering Town have uh, beaten Stourbridge by two goals to nil.